good morning students so beta we were doing the topic advertisement and we are going to continue with the same in this particular video also so what's the topic it is advertisements okay so we have uh, talked about what uh, advertisement it what are its type now we have to begin with the exercise so first of all b part use the information provided here to write classified advertisement in not more than 50 words so first of all we have to write about classified advertisements in not more than 50 words so i would be doing the first one rahiman uh, run a security agency in patel nagar delhi he needs 20 men ready to work in shifts preferably ex army men or those with 3 year experience in the same field he is willing to pay rupees 9000 per month write an advertisement and mention all the points stated above so you have to write a classified advertisement and you also have to write down all the points in this uh, advertisement that have been given in the question now let's begin with the advertisement first exercise so you would write first of all you would be making a box okay a box would be made in that you would write a heading situation vacant then leave a line and write in a uh, capital letters wanted 20 security guards or security agents okay not guard security agents for rahman security rahman security agency now what would uh, what was the address in patel nagar patel nagar delhi comma delhi okay after that you would write willing to work willing to work in shifts preferably i am continuing uh, this here but you would be writing in a box and you would uh, end the box also close the box also uh, preferably ex army men or those with 3 years experience now the salary up to 9000 rupees per month 
then in the next line you would be writing the contact number rahiman contact number okay here uh, no space is given so i'm writing down here contact and some x y z number okay but you would writing it in the last line and after that you would be closing the box is it clear is it clear to all of you after 9000 uh, per month you would be writing down the contact and uh, after writing down the contact you would be closing the box i hope it is clear to all of you please take down the screenshot please take down the screenshot okay i'm rubbing it off okay let me discuss one more with you to give you a more clear format write a classified advertisement sixth one for two let of an independent bungalow at panaki goa give details of area number of rooms and facilities okay so we have to once again write an advertisement of uh, on a classified advertisement so b part and the sixth one once again make a box okay i am starting from very top so that the prom proper format can be seen now to let heading would be in capital letters then you would be starting with your advertisement so fully leave a line after to let after whatever the heading is leave a line and then start with your uh, main content main advertisement fully furnished fully furnished independent bungalows independent bungalow at panaki goa spread over 200 acres with five bedrooms and two guest rooms well ventilated with a large lawn okay so here you have given all the details of the what the building you are to letting now after this write the contact number 
contact and write the number take some name uh, like earlier it was given uh, rahiman write uh, some name like what sneha and then the xyz contact number and then close the box this would be the pr uh, proper format of an advertisement when you are writing a uh, uh, classified when you are writing an uh, classified advertisement this would be the format the heading would be in capital letters then leave a line then fully your all details then contact number uh, then uh, the particular name if the name is not mentioned see here many details were not mentioned so you have uh, given uh, your own details you have used your own ideas क्योंकि यहाँ पे क्या बात हो रही थी इंडिपेंडेंट बंगलों की बात हुई थी तो बंगलोज का आ, मतलब कितने कितने बड़े होते हैं कितने रूम्स होते हैं एक आपने एक अप्रॉक्सीमेट डिटेल्स दे दी सो so, ये सारी डिटेल्स आपने अपने मन से दी है एक कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर जो पर्सन का नाम वो भी आपने आपने अपने आप से ले लिया अगर मैंशन नहीं है और कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर ठीक है कोई भी एक कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर अपना नंबर मत लिखते चले आना बस दिस इज द कम्प्लीट फॉर्मेट फॉर एन क्लासिफाइड एडवर्टीजमेंट नाउ टेक डाउन द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज टेक डाउन द स्क्रीन शॉट okay so i am hoping that everyone has taken down the screenshot so i am rubbing it off now i think two examples of advertisement is more than enough uh it has given you an idea how to write an uh, advertisement out of 6 i have done two for you now let's move on to another chapter that is posters and slogan okay let's move on to another chapter okay posters and slogans so what are poster and slogans poster conveys a message for general public or a specific group through a creative combination of language and visuals okay uh, uh, all of you have made posters so in that how do you make a poster you uh, try to give some message in that poster for uh, general people or for some uh, specific uh, task a specific public and uh, how do you make a poster in that you uh, use some uh, written material also and some visual some drawing also okay it is a combination of what written and drawing and that makes a complete poster that you are using your creativity by drawing something and then just writing uh, down the heading to give it a clear message now uses of poster a poster is used to convey a message which is of social or political importance okay it pro, uh, it gives a message that is social or political to capture the attention of large number of large number of people about something okay to uh, catch the attention attention of the people 
to advertise particular products or to convey important ideas same thing uh, for what you are uh, making the posters to carry out a particular campaign okay poster is also made to carry out uh, for a particular campaign uh, that if you are saying that uh, what if you are saying beti bachao beti padhao so it is a campaign that is going on and you are making uh, uh, slogans or you are making a poster on that since a poster is meant for a large group of people it should be impressive and printed in big letters for all to read okay so large number of people ke liye hota hai that's why it should be very clear written matter should be uh, large enough so that people could read and the drawing should be very impressive guidelines for making uh, posters the slogan or captions of the posters should be clearly written uh, at the top in bold it should be catchy and precise short it should be catchy it should be precise and it should be in uh, bold letters so that uh, it can be easily uh, seen or read by people second point the written content should convey related facts details in brief if it is based uh, on social issue then the problems can be mentioned first followed by written solutions or the steps to be taken so the same thing the content should uh, talk about the facts okay the details should be in brief and if we are talking about if the poster is about some social uh, issues then firstly we have to write down the problem and uh, then how to solve it the visual should be uh, should further support the written content and should be able to attract the attention of the readers so jo aapka visual jo aapki drawing honi chahiye it should be in such a way that it should uh, be uh, related uh, to the the heading the slogan that have you have written okay slogan and the drawing should be interrelated the name of the issuing authority should be mentioned at the end with the logo if any okay so uh, if you are making a slogan for uh, some particular uh, authority uh, then you should write the name of that particular uh, authority at the end at the last and if any stamp is uh, logo is also provided then you should use that also now take a look at the poster given here at the bottom a poster is given here save rivers they are our lifeline okay so firstly a drawing has been made at the side and uh, how we are using our rivers is shown here that we are washing our clothes uh, these uh, we are also washing our animals uh, people are also uh, swimming in that so how we are uh, using our rivers uh, is very very clear from this visuals now we uh, what we are doing uh, written content what is the written content firstly we are giving the information uh, about rivers that rivers have been uh, seeds of civilization since ages sustains life and vegetations brings success to arid and parched lands now nurture uh, rich flora and fauna so what rivers are doing firstly we are writing about that and how we should uh, preserve it how should we make it uh, clean so we are telling what not to do or what precautions we should take so that we can uh, make our rivers live long and clean do not throw waste from human uh, settlements into river do not throw industrial waste from factories into river do not wash clothes on uh, river banks or let cattle ba bath in rivers plant trees on river bank and build embankments 
to stop soil erosions okay so what all measures you should take uh, so that you can save our rivers are given here so this is how you make a poster okay i uh, i hope it is clear that uh, with this first example that what are posters and slogans and uh, how you should draw and write it am i clear friends we would be continuing with this uh, class in the next video till then bye bye take care